Hello, welcome back. Uh, I'm Adam once again, and today we're going to be talking about prepositions of place and directions. <laughs> prepositions of place. This is um, uh, one of my favorite subjects in English because it is very, very uh, localized to English. Very important. Very important in English. Uh, it's used to show location, Luigi. Uh, so, for, for example, uh, if I were to ask you, <laughs> where is Professor Adam? You would say, Professor Adam is under the bridge. Here is the bridge. And you would say, here's me right here, looking very happy. No beard. Uh, under the bridge. <laughs> um, so, that's my location. Uh, Professor Adam is under the bridge. We're going to look at the sentence. So, first, um, it's good to point out, it's usually placed between the main verb and the object of the sentence. The object is a noun, nonza. So in this sentence, we have our subject, nonza, Professor Adam, that's me. A verb, main verb, is, that is my existence. Then we have our object noun. Uh, so if you just say, Professor Adam is the bridge, it just means I am a bridge, which is strange, doesn't make sense. So we need this preposition under. This is our preposition here. Adam, Adam is under the bridge. And that's a basic sentence structure for all sentences with prepositions. Subject, main verb, preposition, object. Kramsa, Tomsa, preposition, I can't remember in Hongo, I'm sorry. And then Gamsa. Subject, object, main verb. Okay. <laughs> um, we're going to try again, but this time I'm going to show you some different prepositions. We already talked about under. Here's a mouse and a box. Um, classic picture. So we would say, where is the mouse? Odieo. You can say, the mouse, subject, is behind the box. Behind means back, in the back, behind the box. She is behind the box. I say she because she has a nice dress. The mouse is behind the box. Or, if you don't want to say the mouse, you can just say it. He, she is for Saham, mouse is it. But this mouse is very obviously a girl mouse, yo mouse, so you could say she. She is behind the box. Oh, uh, look at that. <laughs> um, here we have an apple and two boxes. So if I were to say, where is the apple, you would say, the apple is between the boxes. This is, between means two things, uh, two, two things, in this case boxes, okay, and something is inside. So you would say, the apple is between the boxes. Uh, B-O-X box means one box. This is two boxes. So the apple is between the boxes. It is between the boxes. <laughs> um, so, uh, like I said, if, to use between, there must be more than one object in the sentence. So, in this case, two boxes. Yes. Um, if the object is singular, in that same case, we would use next to. <laughs> uh, the apple is next to the book. If you had two books, you could say in between, but in this case the apple is next to the book. The book is next to the apple. Um, so, uh, can anyone tell me where are the choco pies in this picture? Take a look. I'll give you a hint. Uh, they're right here. There they are. <laughs> so you would say, the choco pies are above the chips. Here we have a bunch of different chips. And they are above the chips. On top, they are above the chips. The choco pies are above the chips. They are above the chips. <laughs> Here we have an elephant and a chair. If I were to say, where is the elephant? You would say, the elephant is in front of the chair. Much like earlier we had behind. In this case, it's in front of. I am in front of the TV, the elephant is in front of the chair. 
Okay. Um, <clears throat> when we use the preposition across from, it means we have to cross something to get there. Usually a street, roll, guild. Um, so here we have a little map. We have a bank, police station, store, post office, drugstore. Uh, drugstore is a uh, Yaku, CGV, uh, restaurant, school, library, hospital. So if I say, the drugstore is across from the police station. Here's our street, here's our drug school, our Yaku, and here's the police station. So that means it's across the street. It's across from the police station. You can also say the drugstore is between the post office and movie theater. Here we have uh, two objects in the sentence. Myeongsa Buge, post office, movie theater. So the drugstore is between the post office and the movie theater, or across from the police station. <laughs> um, our most common prepositions in and uh, in, oh, sorry, in, on, and at follow some rules, which is very cool because we like rules in English quite a bit. Um, in is for big places. Think countries like mm, Korea, uh, Dehaminggu, uh, USA. States like Gyeongchangbuk-do. Uh, Gangwon-do. Uh, my state is called Michigan in the United States. Uh, cities like Daegu, Busan, Seoul, and neighborhoods. For example, Yongjin is in Bokyeongdong. Uh, so Bokyeongdong would be a neighborhood. If you live in New York, you might think Manhattan, Brooklyn, Bronx, neighborhoods. Um, yes, so uh, on is used for medium-sized places, but uh, most of the time it's streets. Uh, so you would say on Bokyeongdong, on Dongsangrong, something like this, uh, on Maple Street. Almost always for streets. Uh, and at, at is used for very specific places, like the name of a restaurant. Uh, last week I ate at uh, Kimbap Changguk. Restaurant name is Kimbap Changguk, so I use at. Uh, or someone's house. I met my friend at my home. At my home means my house. Um, all right. So, let's try a sentence. <laughs> this is one big sentence. Uh, so, uh, Professor Adam lives blank South Korea, blank Daegu, blank Bufu, blank Bokyeongdong, blank Bokyeongro, blank the Dungy Apartments. So, uh, first one, South Korea, it's a big place, right? So we want to use in. So Adam lives in South Korea. Daegu is a city, also a big place, so we want to use in again. In Daegu, uh, Buku is a neighborhood, or rather, it's kind of part of the city. Still in. Uh, one more time, Bokyeongdong. In again. <laughs> so I live in here somewhere. Think of it like the map, and I'm inside here. Um, in Bokyeongdong. Then all of a sudden, we have a street, Bokyeongro. So for streets, we're, all, we're going to use on. Here's a uh, Bokyeongro. Oh, yes, yeah, like that. Um, so I live on Bokyeongro, and then at is the name of an apartment building. Dangji Apartments. At those specific apartments. Na apartment name. <laughs> so, once again, just think of it like this, like a triangle upside down. Very big places, we use in. Very medium places, mostly streets. Uh, Bokyangro, Gonghangro, we're going to use on. And then for very specific places that have a name, small places, we use at. <laughs> um, so, here we go for a few examples. Um, so, if I want to give directions uh, to someone, if they say, where is the store? I could say, the store is on Main Street. Here's the store. This is a store, it's like a marked 7-Eleven, uh, GS25. It's on Main Street. The store is on Main Street. Here, this is the street name. 
The store is next to the police station. Remember, if it's got two things, it's between. If it's just one, next to the police station. And then it is across from the movie theater. Next to the police station, across from the movie theater, on Main Street. <laughs> so, you have now have very, very specific directions. Uh, what if I ask, where is the police station? The police station is on Main Street, again. It is across from the drugstore. And it is between the bank and the store. Very, very good directions. We like these directions a lot. Very many rules. So, I know exactly the place. <laughs> um, so, when we give directions, we're basically going to give them down to three things. And they're similar to a command or yongma. That is, they use the imperative mood. So, you don't really have a subject. That uh, myongsa, number one, subject, I, you, he, she, it. We don't use that when we give directions because we call it the imperative mood. So, uh, instead of saying, you, turn right, you would say, turn right. Turn right. <laughs> uh, same for the other side. Turn left. That is just Dongsa and the direction. Turn left. Uh, and then this one, Jujin, go straight. Go straight. Uh, over here we have go up the stairs. <laughs> um, this one's kind of. This one has a you know here, the stairs. Uh, it's the object of sentence, so it's saying you go up the stairs. Uh, whereas right, left, and straight over here, this one we use up. And then of course, if you go up the stairs this way, coming here, you go go down, go down the stairs. That's perfect. So these are five directions that we're going to use. Uh, this year, these will be on the test, that's why I brought them up to you here. Let's try to use them in practice. So here we have a big, <laughs> a big uh, map, um, and uh, I want you to help me try to finish my errands, okay. Uh, here I am, down here, and uh, first I need to go get peanut butter from the supermarket. Where is it? Uh, the supermarket is... Where is the supermarket? Oh, they're here. Sorry, I covered up with peanut butter. Um, so I need to get peanut butter from the supermarket. So you would say first, turn right on, remember on for streets, South Street. Go straight. Then turn left on East Street. Here we go, left. And then you would say, it's across from the school. The supermarket is across from the school. So here we have <laughs> one, two, three sentences, and I have very specific directions. First, turn right on South Street, go straight, then turn left on East Street. It is across from the school. And there we go, I made it. I got some peanut butter. So, try another one. Uh, peanut butter is expensive. I need more money from the bank. I need to hit the ATM down over here. <laughs> uh, so you'd say first turn right on East Street. It's the name of the street here is East Street. Turn right on East Street. Turn right again on South Street. So we're turning right. Then, of course, Jujin, go straight. Um, the bank is across from the bar. Here's our bar, and here's our bank. So. It's across from the bar. There he goes. Uh, he's got his money. Uh, last thing. Uh, Adam needs to pick up his grandmother from the bus station. She's coming to visit. So uh, let's give him directions to the bus station. First, come out of the bank, go left. Turn left. So you have to think you're coming out this way. Turn left, like this. <laughs> then go straight, you do it again. Uh, what's going to happen here? Go left on East Street, turn left on East Street. 
Um, the bus station is between the school and the police station. Here it is right here, in between. <laughs> there he goes. Found grandma, he's very happy. Okay. All right, so just uh, one more, we'll just go over it uh, before we say goodbye. Prepositions of place are used to show location. Uh, so, cat is under the chair here. Mouse is behind the box. The apple is next to the book. The apple is between the boxes. The elephant is in front of the chair. And here we have the basketball is above the box. Uh, our common prepositions of place in, on, or at follow some rules. The upside down triangle. In is for big places. On is for streets, mostly. And then at is used for specific places like the name of a restaurant or someone's home. <laughs> Directions are given in the imperative mode, like a command or myong myong. So it's turn right, turn left, go straight, go up the stairs, and go down the stairs. And <clears throat> yes, if you remember those things, you can always give directions. So I'd like to say thank you very much for tuning in. And I'll see you soon, hopefully. Goodbye.